I've gone out with a lot of women who did not have positive male uh, figures in their life. Oh, that's all I've ever gone yeah. out with. Oh, yeah. I don't, you know, it's not a so, prerequisite, but somehow that's all I've ever. <laughs> but, yeah. The fact that that's me. what you're, you're on that website. Yeah. Uh, no positive male role models. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's the dating website you use? Yeah. It's no, very no long, positive but it's role good. Models. No positive role models. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Square Pit Brigade? On this episode, we have my boy Chuck Nice on here, and we talk about trauma in relationship, women's trauma in relationship, how it uh, affects you, the one thing that guys get wrong, and uh, whether or not you should uh, teach your son about women early on or let him focus on school. Um, this was a dope one. Yeah, that's right. Chuck Nice is super hilarious, and if you love the relationship advice that we're talking about on this show, you're going to want to come over to patreon.com slash manschool202. That's where we do all the bonus content, like uh, the bonus show we do this week with Chuck Nice, where we talk about uh, not getting taken advantage of, uh, when to stop being nice, and we also talk about another story where Dante had to beat somebody up. So all of that is on patreon.com slash manschool202, and also all the old archive episodes of the show. So if you love the show, check us out there. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do to sexual revolutions being podcasted? And I am excited. Uh, this is a special show. I know I've said that 600 times before, but this time I really mean it. First and foremost, Harry, what's up? What's rocking? You ready to rock and roll? Oh, man, Dante, if I was doing any better, I'd be Travis Kelsey at a Taylor Swift concert. I'm doing great. <laughs> I can't be doing any better. <laughs> Let me introduce our guest, but fan of the show, funniest dude I know, one of my good, good friends that I don't spend nearly as much time with. Give it up for my boy, Chuck Nice. What's up, guys? What's going on, Chuck? How are oh, you? Every, every time I hear you say, uh, get your balls back. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it is a reminder. It's a it reminder that, yeah. needs, it that needs, needs to be said. It needs to be said. There's a call to action. Back. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, look, I, I don't know. I mean, there's been times, I suppose there's, there's been times in my life where I've, where I've had to get my balls back. I gotta, I'm not even gonna try to front, like, you know, like I ain't never been in a position where I, I, I've been oh, without my on. balls. I always, I, I, matter of fact, I got a spare set of balls. Y'all got, <laughs> y'all got, y'all got one sack, I got two. You know, I got just in case I have balls, <laughs> soccer balls, basketballs, <laughs> baseballs, golf balls, you <laughs> name it, I got balls. I'm it's trying to load these know, balls, man. I got it, too it, many. If you know it, anybody so, who needs some. What's but, crazy yeah. is that one of the things that we say on the show all the time is we haven't said this in a while, but everybody gets got. And uh, oh, often, God. often, no matter, I don't care how dope you are. I don't care how on point you are. There's always those more two things that you will always have to do is give apologies and make apologies. Uh, make apologies and ask for apologies is what I should have said. You know, it's funny because- uh, uh, Unless, yeah. un unless of course, you've never done anything, uh, anything yeah. wrong. <laughs> yeah. No need, no need yeah. to apologize because <laughs> quite frankly, I'm not wrong. Yeah. I'm not wrong. I've got Never. my balls. I've always had my balls. I got I've a lot of balls. Always had my balls. Great balls. <laughs> Great wonderful balls. balls on fire. Always hey. orange balls. <laughs> a lot of balls. <laughs> you know, I have Cheetos in my <laughs> pants. Mustard <Yeah>. balls. <laughs> so you know, so it's, it, a, I, it's a I, thing. Every once in a while, we see in the comments. You know, you the better you do, the more haters you get. And every once in a while, true. Because Dante's very open about what's gone on with you know him and his wife in in the last couple of years. And he, the first thing he does is talk about it on the show. You know, he doesn't pretend, hey, everything is perfect. And there's always a thing of like, if Dante's doing so great, how come he and his wife have separated? And and it's like, because you know about relationships doesn't mean it's perfect. Doesn't mean well, you're and it doesn't, flawless. And it doesn't mean that it's going to... Always work. It doesn't mean that you can dictate how things are going to go just because you know how things should be. Think about it that way. And in, in, in everyone's life, there's... There's something that you know, this is the way things should go. And yeah. then it doesn't go like that. Yeah. Okay. That's all there is to it. Like you, everybody said, there's a, there's days at work you have like that. There are times you go out just to have a good time and it doesn't work out like that, you know? And then there are relationships and it doesn't work out like that. There are relationships within your own family. Forget, and, and guess what? If you get married, the thing you know very quickly, you will learn very quickly is that you 
married and made that person your family. And then yeah. on top of that, you, their, her family is now your family. Oh, right, right, right. Right. Yeah. Right. right, right, right. Oh, it's terrible. It's yeah. all, so, but guess what? That is something that you find out. Everybody can tell you that, but you find that out in like in no uncertain terms through experience, you know? So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's cool well, that you, that you do that, that you take your, even though you're giving advice on relationships, if something's not working out, you, you know, you're mad enough to say, look, here's what's going on in my life. I, I, I admire that. I think, I don't know. I don't know how anybody hates on that. I admire it. Yeah, you know, and also like to what you were saying, Chuck, you know, like you can only control certain aspects. When you're in a relationship, that is another person's life. Right. And while you're there to enhance it and you're there to be together as a unit, you cannot control every aspect of another person, whether it's trauma or how they handle adversity or their level of happiness or their mental state. And you can work to do that, but ultimately that person has to do the work just like you have to do the work on yourself. So sometimes it's not necessarily the transmitter. Sometimes it's the receiver. So it's, it's there's so a lot true. of variables. Yeah. Oh, no, no, so true. You know, listen. I, I think you also, I, I think you can only, yeah, uh, what we try to do is we try to be, uh, we try to be diligent about what the variables are and what they're not. And I think there's also variables that you you have you're not privy to i think a lot of times there's when you're in a relationship with a young lady a lot of times there's variables that she's not privy to that that are working on and, and you know trauma and stuff that's going on underneath insecurities on underneath things that happen you know so, you know something that things that happen as in childhood where they're bringing that they're bringing that into the relationship and they're not even aware that they're bringing that into the relationship yeah, I mean, and and sometimes they are aware, but they don't. They're not aware of the dynamic that it's creating in a relationship. Sure. When you have like, there are a. I've gone out with a lot of women who clearly did not have positive male uh, figures in their life. Oh, that's all I've ever gone yeah. out with. Oh yeah, I don't. You know, it's not a so, prerequisite, but somehow that's <laughs> all I've ever. Uh, yeah, the fact that, that's me. what you're. You're on that website. Yeah. Uh, no positive male role models. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dating website you use. Yeah. It's no, very no long, positive but it's role good. models. No positive role models. <laughs> meet, <laughs> the meet and greet. Uh, the, uh, yeah. But, you know, um, very quickly, you know, you realize. So um, people, there is a difference between people who have a terrible relationship with their father and people who have no relationship with their father. OK, yeah. so the people who have no relationship with their father, what they tend to do is create a father image. OK, they create a father image and then they look for that father image that they've created. The or, a or, or they or they they have such a I mean, it's a it's a it's a funny thing because like, uh, I, you know, I my dad, my relationship with my dad wasn't great. He was a great model. But he wasn't he was a, a guy who was in a lot of cases, whereas he gave me the foundation. But in a lot of time, he was vacant. And when he was present, he my mom was my dad was like a Jewish mama. Like, don't go. I mean, but but, you know, like I always I preface it like this. He's he's grew up he born in 1920, 16, 18, eight boys and eight girls, 16 kids grown up in pre gym, you know, in the in the heart in of Jim, Jim Crow. Crow. Right. And 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 so what you're asking somebody to do is have this kind of emotional acuity that they just don't they just haven't had the 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 ability to develop it or the time the or the opportunity just based yeah. on the on the trauma. And oh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. what the way it affected me. So so like I, people don't know this about me because I was always such a my my present how I present now is is years of work. Whereas I was really, a, I was a scary, scary kid. Like I was scared of everything. Scared of girls, scared of fights, scared to ask the girl to dance. Scared of, I mean, I was just, because it was this, don't go there, you, this will happen. Don't go there. And then also being black in America is a is a thing where your parents start to instill this, especially my pops, because my pops grew up in the heart of, 
of you know segregation and stuff like that. And so it was always watch out for this. Don't this is how you talk to the police. And so I grew up with this fear. And then I spent the majority of my uh my my childhood and my adolescent trying to overcome fear per se, just trying to figure out how I can navigate that fear. And so, but I had a model, I, you know, I had a masculine model that I could honestly look to and say, okay, this is who what a guy is. But I I had a like I I my sister just passed away uh not that long, maybe about a month, month and a half ago. Oh and God. I have and she it's, was an awful it's, been, awful it's been about four months, Dante. Five is months. that what it is? Yeah, right, it's I don't, been about I don't, five I don't, I don't, counting time. <laughs> Time just to let slowly. you know how how time moves slowly when you're mourning. Don't worry. Yeah. Well, I'm not. That's that yeah, was that's really problem, not it. Chuck. Yeah, we didn't get a, <laughs> we didn't get oh. along at all. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, I tell this story all the time. My sister, when my sister, my youngest sister called me up to tell me that my middle sister passed away, and I was like, "Yo, my condolences. Yo, you need anything? Like, <laughs> <laughs> damn. But guess what? Yeah. That is part of what happens in relationships you know yeah, and it's like just because you uh, listen i told a family member this um i went you know just because we are family and listen i come from a very tight family like very yeah. tightly lit and then my mother i have one of those mothers that was just like everything is family there's nothing more important than family 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 family, family. but what i have realized is that family relationships are just those relationships that um that it's easy to make the decisions because you are forced to be in this person's because of the agency. This person's orbit. Yeah. So because you are forced to be in this person's orbit, it's easier to make those decisions. But you know, just because you are in that person's, you know, that uh arena doesn't mm. mean that you have to play in that game it that's sure. all there is to it you there's nothing to say and sometimes it's the healthiest thing that you can do yeah. um no matter what the relationship or no matter who it is some of the healthiest decisions you can ever make is to say you know what for whatever reason we our gears our gears don't sink our gears yeah. do not sink and the best thing we can do is kind of be apart is, from one another is, yeah that's the yeah. best thing that we can and guess what um, you know, I have a couple of relationships like that. Um, and I have no regrets. I feel as I feel great about it. <laughs> and this is, this is, this I is this great about like, it. This, this sounds like this is more recent than not. Yes. Yes. And I feel okay. great about it. I'm like, good, you know, and, and, and listen, and here's why I feel good about it because I'm not coming at it from the standpoint of man, F you. You know what? Go to hell. Hope you right. die. Wish you the best. Hope you get the pox. A pox on you. You know what I mean? <laughs> but not on your family. Not on your family. <laughs> well, it, it's a, it's interesting because it's like anytime we talk, right? Um, there is. I, I feel like we are so in sync, but that you've always had the the like the what I say the agency of of uh of there's a certain way that you feel that you should respond. And it, and it really kind of warms me up a little bit to see you, like I would, I would say you, it's, it's nice to see you embracing the lizard, you know, like, the, <laughs> <laughs> uh, because I've always said this, I've always the said this is that. Or the dark side. Ahead, how are you going to say something? No, I said embracing the dark side a little more. Yeah, the, I mean, but the, like we all got this lizard person yeah. inside, and I think it's just part of, of human nature. And the thing is, what gives me what gives me uh, solace is the fact that I've embraced the lizard. Like I, I, I wish people dead sometimes. Mm. I know that that's not the 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 the, the I, I know that's maybe not societally acceptable, yeah. but uh, but I don't think Nietzsche preached that one. But, yeah, but yeah. I, but it's also, but it's not, it's right. not within, within the context of where I'm emotionally tied up to it. I'm just, there's, the, this person has no real there's value no benefit to society in their in bones and, fla and flesh. You know, there's just really no value. Todd Lynn comes to mind. Oh boy, a uh, guy who I, I I often celebrate his death 
Damn. Fact, every year, quite every literally, year I celebrate yeah. his death. Quite Damn. literally. That's see I, now, now yeah. see that's funny. Uh, I understand this is uncomfortable for you. I can see that, the discomfort. That, that is, not, it, his, 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 what a great guy you are. I'm saying it, and you're uncomfortable with me. I am it. uncomfortable with you talking about a dead man, and he's dead. You know what? I mean, listen, it doesn't make a difference to. And, and by the way, I understand how you feel, and I think that, <laughs> I think that you have and every I right. I concur, and, and I think that you have every right. I think that you have every right to feel that way. Uh, and I'm not talking about Todd specifically. We, you know, we both knew Todd, um, and, and Todd was not and very you're well. Not, you're not not. Talking about Todd either, but <laughs> just to show you, I just you know, want to read here's this. Here's what's funny, and I don't, oh. I don't know why guys were like this, and or why this happens to me particularly, but I think it's because, you know, um, there are people who are assholes, okay, and you know, when I see them, I don't know why, but I have compassion for them being an asshole. I, but I don't necessarily want to be around them, get to know them, and be friends. But there's something in me that feels sorry for them. You feel bad about what happened that they, led them to this place because and, nobody, and, yeah, nobody and, chooses okay. that life. I, I'm like, why? Like, you're such a terrible person. And it's just, you're so negative. And I just, I feel bad for them. And I think they picked that up in me because it's not pity. I'm not feeling like pity. I, I, I genuinely feel compassion, but I'm also disinterested. I'm a disinterested, unbiased party, you mm. know, where, um, you know, I have several people in our in our world who are at odds with one another, but I'm cool with them all. You know what I mean? And it's simply because, and I think there are very few people that I want to get like close to. And so maybe that's what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like. Like you and I got close because we would just talk and then we would have like very honest, honest conversations. Right, 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 right. And it made me feel like, oh, I could trust this guy. I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? I don't right, feel right. that way about a lot of people. I don't feel like I could trust this guy. Like, you know what I mean? Like this dude is straight. And as a result, I think what I present to people is kind of, you know, this part of me that what you call the guy who doesn't like the lizard, the guy who right, right, and that and that's and 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 listen, you've said this before, and I agree. I'm not, I'm I'm scared of that part of me. I don't like that part of me, to be honest. I'm I'm mm. I'm a little uh, I'm a little leery of that part of me. You know, mm. I'm I feel like um, that part of part of me is a can do damage. Not well, only I mean that, that's the whole that's the point of the lizard. I mean, the point is <laughs> that. That that's what he's supposed to do. You're like, yeah. you're, you're like, yeah. There's a reason why motherfuckers walk around with a Rottweiler, Chuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah it's yeah. not because they want people to walk up and pet it. Yeah, it, there's, a, there's, there's. So this is a, this is a. I'm, I'm thinking when you look at it as it being a necessary aspect to human social interaction and engagement, there's a reason why there is. It, it, we've adapted in this way that at some point in time, sometimes you got to pick a rock up and smash somebody's head in. And or, I, you know, and in, I, my, you, in my yeah. case, an ice pick always worked nice. Well, mm. Love yeah. the ice pick. You mean figuratively? So, You're speaking figuratively and emotionally? No, I'm, I'm talking about an ice pick. I actually, oh, okay. I, Disregard. Like Question withdrawn. Sorry. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Ice picks are uh, serious tools, okay? Yeah. They, uh, they, you I don't, you were telling me. They are serious tools. I don't know. If, and, uh, they're, they're They'll not go through an eight ball jacket. Yeah. There are not too many people who actually have actually held an ice pick before. There aren't very many people, believe it or not, because really? they're they're made to break up blocks of ice. That's yeah. what but, which I mean, they uh, stopped we, we stopped yeah. doing in the late but, 40s. Yeah. But somehow <laughs> exactly somehow that's Dante still ha was carrying an ice pick in 1987. That's but that's neither point. here nor there. Like, yeah, okay. <laughs> so anyway, but yeah, you could do a lot of damage yeah. with an ice pick. I mean, so, yeah. seriously. The thing is, Chuck, Chuck is one of the nicest guys, right? He's always been nice to me no matter what level when I first started yeah. out. He was he's nice. I've never heard a bad story about Chuck. Yeah. And the thing that and I empathize with that because I feel like I'm a nice guy. And the thing is the problem is that we don't unleash the lizard and people take advantage. And it's it's learning to unleash that thing so that people don't take advantage. And when you're a nice guy, what you learn, what I'm starting to learn, because I'm doing it more and more often, is that when I 
when I unleash that, that person has earned it and they deserve it. And sometimes you have to do that because otherwise people take advantage and they become disrespectful. They become mean. Well, and that's true. I yeah. don't, I mean, for me, it's about setting boundaries with people. I mean, I know we, we haven't even gotten into the show. We just, we just often running into this topic, but I, well, it's, it's relevant. It's, 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 I think relevant. it's relevant. It is I relevant. think it's relevant. And I'll tell you why it's relevant because no woman finds you attractive unless you got that lizard in you. Okay, you, you gotta and, I'm, have I'm, that. and listen, I'm not going to, I have a 17-year-old son. He's gorgeous. Mm. Mm. I'm in a way, and he's super smart. I'm, in a way, I'm glad he's not doing well with women because, you know, he's so smart and he's like, every school in the country is sending stuff to our house and trying to get mm. to this kid. And I'm very proud of him. And I know that women are a distraction. So I'm in a way, but on the other hand, I'm just like, Bro, get out there and get a girl, man. Go ahead and do it. Like, like if I looked like you when I was your age, I right. would have been devastating. I would have been devastating. Yeah. Do you yeah. hear me? Do you see what I'm working with? I was <laughs> working with this and still killing it. I was still killing it. And look at what I'm working with. Coming from a make-a-wish standpoint. I was, <laughs> I'm the make-a-wish kid when, when it comes to... Now, like, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll, okay, now let's, let's rewind because I've, I've been around Chuck at, at some events where the, the, the little hot milfs can't, oh, they love them some Chuck. Ooh, they love Chuck more better than a, a, than a, a shrimp cocktail. Which, <laughs> like, <laughs> more than mimosas on a Sunday uh, oh, brunch. Oh, more than bottomless margaritas. They love <laughs> some Chuck, boy. Oh, that's, that's a lot. More than, uh, a, more than a BOGO at Express. They love... <laughs> They love, love some Chuck oh, Nice. No, Express. Uh, no, but, yeah, Chuck, but I, but I, I want to, you know, one of the things that I think it's important is so a lot of the, the fans will listen to this and and you're saying you're happy he's not doing well with women, but you're still going like, because it's a distraction. And I would say opposite of that. It's I don't think it is a distraction. I think that we have to, you have to, your son, like, because, you know, my son is four and I'm cultivate. I want to cultivate all of those aspects at one, I, and I think you could do that. You, you can listen. I, I, I agree with you. Um, it's just that first of all, the the so for me, it was about personality. Um, I realized very early in life that women were far more concerned with your personality than sure, sure. than than how you looked or if you had money because I didn't have money. Right, right, and and I, you know, I did always like nice clothes. I will tell you that much, and and yeah. and and I will say this: if 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 you're looking to attract women, uh, having a sense of style. Now, I, I didn't say go out and spend a bunch of money on clothes, yeah, yeah, yeah. but if you've got a sense of style that sets you apart in any way, that is always helpful. Um, but what really, what I found a lot of women liked was my personality, mm. and so. Um, it made me very comfortable to go and so Eddie Wiggins. Oh, I shouldn't use his real let, cut that out. Don't use his real mm -hmm. name. Um, mm -hmm. I had a friend in high school, and uh, he was great with women, and I'm I mean great. Mm -hmm. um, just was oh silver tongued. We've all had that guy. That, that yeah, everybody was, has that guy. That, that guy. I mean silver tongued and so confident. And not only confident, but smooth and a hit rate like you couldn't believe. Mm -hmm. And um, he said to me, he was like, yeah, man, your problem. He was like, girls like you. Your problem is you don't like you. That's what he said to me. He was like, girls like you. And how, how old was he? Oh, man, we were 15 at this God, point. Yeah, boy. He that's was yeah, that's 15. Now, he, mind he you, his dangerous. His, that's a dangerous 15 year old. Yeah, mm. he was dangerous, too. You know what I mean? But uh, but he was like, girls like you. You don't like you. I was like, oh, yeah. shoot, what you talk about? What you, he was like, yeah, if you liked you, you would see yourself the way they see you. And it wouldn't mean nothing for you to walk up to them and do whatever. Yeah. And the ones that All don't right. like you, you would just be like, well, it's your, you don't have to like me. Right. <laughs> you, you, right, ain't right. Gotta, you ain't gotta like me. OK, oh, yeah. you know, even though you do. All yeah, right. Yeah. But anyway, right. um, and so what we used to do was go down to the mall on Saturday. We would get together around 10 o'clock. The mall opened at 11 and we would get together and we would go into the mall and we would spend the whole day in the mall. And the goal was to just talk to, just talk to 
Not cat call. Not hey, 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 shorty. Yo, shorty, let me holler at you. Let me holler at you. Short. None of that. Right. Talk to. Yes. Talk right, right. to. 50 women each. So we have 100 girls we had to get to by the really? end. Really? Yeah. 50 women each. Talk to. Go up, start a conversation. Say something about them. Compliment them in a genuine way. Uh, find a man at the. We did that for a few Saturdays, and then it just got to a point where I would go to the mall on Saturday and be like, "I want to get me, you know, five or six numbers because it's time for me to, you know, expand my social uh, yeah. circle." And you know, and it was nothing to it. And what I realized is, um, a lot of life is a numbers game. You know, not everybody is going to like you. Not everyone is made for you. Not everyone is compatible with you. It's and so if that is the case, the only way you can find that out is to get out there and find out. <laughs> you know. Well, so here's here's the thing: when you say a numbers game, so it's like I think a lot of dudes are listening to this and they're going, "Oh, it's a I just it's a it's a you know you just you shoot enough shots, you you make enough shots eventually." Yeah, not not but, that kind of numbers, but game. It, but it's right. But I think that's what numbers game denotes what it's it's a weird thing so i i have a plan that i put guys through right okay and what i do is guys who can't get laid or have don't getting the caliber of women it's it's funny you say that it's it's later five bricks lighter five bricks i don't i I talk about it but it's always peace so let me i'll explain it is you are to go out and talk to five women a day Mm -hmm. just pay a compliment right to five women a day. And it's not supposed to be specifically just women that you're attracted to. It's it's what you're talking about, which is older women, younger women, middle-aged, whatever, whatever. Because a lot of times I've been, you know, I've been hollering at somebody, you know, like talking to my man's mom. And then she's like, well, blah, 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 you mind a blowy on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, 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 um. <laughs> that kind of good. <laughs> yeah. no good. That's why Dante but, wasn't allowed around on Mother's Day exactly. in, in his neighborhood. You know, um, my si- my sister why would not let me around her friends. Us? Why is what happened? I said, why is Dante at the Red Lobster with us? He's not a part of this family. <laughs> yeah. invited Dante. Why is Dante out with at girls' night out? With, yeah. why, with, why are those mothers giving Dante's flowers on? Mother's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, but but going out five f- and talking to five women, paying women compliments every day. First, there's but there's a few requisites. Like you said, it's it's funny because you say that because this was a a plan that I came up because it was a way to get past number one. The 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 um compliment cannot be sexual, okay. right? Okay. Right. Second of all, it needs to be honest. Okay, like, good. So she can look, she can have a middle uh, eye in the middle of her head, and you can be like, what, you be like, you know what? That's the eyeshadow on that third eye you got it, right it's, there. It's, you know, it's amazing. That's a, that's amazing. Really cool, I've, I've never seen I a, love what you did there. You know? see, right, right. So <laughs> it has to be honest. I love and, the way you painted the, the thumbnail on that thumb coming out of the side of your <laughs> You got a thumb growing out your temple, but you know what? The color that you use for that nail polish. <laughs> but go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> that dolphin line that you got in the middle of your head. It's like, it's delicious. <laughs> so, yeah, but, um, but doing that, um, so so the, the third <laughs> thing is not to get a number. The, the first phase, you don't even ask for a number. Right. And okay. and what what so one of the things I don't think that really well, guys I, really... why not? I mean, now listen, I have, I don't know your plan. Okay. I'm, I'm interested to know why not. Now, now my my purpose was to get a number. That's what I was trying to do. I mean, the the other things that I said it's so funny that they line up perfectly right. with oh, what yeah, you yeah, are. It's so funny that it yeah. lines up perfectly what you're yeah. talking about. And but this is something that I found through trial and error. Right, you know, right, right. And I was I was 15, well, this, this is 16 this is honed down to a yeah. science. Like I've never seen this. I've never had a guy who did consultations, Dante Never.com, click on consult or hit Harry up at Advice from Harry at gmail.com. Email me Beautiful. right there if so, you want a consultation. Uh, no, no, but wait a minute. Take, take, take me back to why you don't get a number. If the, Because if, in, if, in the first phase, you don't get And by the way, the I have been in a position where I have not gotten a number, and the best was uh, struck up a conversation with a girl on the subway. We talked for like six spots, six stops. Had a great conversation. I was with another friend of mine, my buddy Ron. 
and um, got off the um, got off this my stop. Said, "Hey, thing, hey, nice talking to you." Right? Got off. She got off too. Yeah. Now we walking up the stairs. We walking up the stairs. She walking up the stairs too. We we walking down. Now we we walking. We have Fourteenth and Sixth Avenue. We walk it down six. We go to turn up Sixth Avenue, but we're waiting for the light to turn, and she's standing at the at the light with me, and she's basically like, "What are you doing? Don't yeah, you yeah. see that I just got?" And it took me all that time to realize that she got off. That wasn't her stop. Right, right, right. Up out from underground yeah. and was waiting for me to ask her for her phone number, which, by the way, I did not. <laughs> wow. So, but here's here's the reason why. So, and this is the thing that guys mistake. Guys think that because women have so much attention. I just heard this moron say this to uh, today that women have so much attention, so they have so much practice socially that that's why they're so much better than men. And and I was uh, and I would and Harry and I were laughing at mm. this. This is another relationship guru, dude. Mm. I, um. I don't, get, I don't get the I don't get the premise of what he's saying, but go ahead. Women so, are wait, you, women are better socially than men. Yes, uh, because they get more practice. Yeah. Because uh, they're constantly but, getting attention. Because oh, they're getting because they're getting hit on a lot. Right, yeah, right. But that doesn't but the, make them good. They're not good. They just don't have to do any of it. They have look, the selection. There's no skill that's developed there that they're learning how to do. They just get to pick and choose because the way the mark the, the relationship market is the way we set it up is it's a yeah. buyer's market for women. Right, right. That's a great way to put it. Well, the other thing I always say is that um, men hunt women. I was going to say, there you go. Women, <laughs> women, men hunt and women trap. What does that mean? That men actively pursue That's right. women and relationships and so on and so forth. But women, they set up the trap, they put the makeup on, they push the push-up bra, and they sit and wait, and they wait for you to walk into the trap, and then you that's, get caught. That's kind of ominous, but yes, I get it. <laughs> but that's what it, I mean, that's what it is. I mean, I, I mean, some, a lot of times we want it. I was about to say, we want to be trapped. But Come on. That, I mean, but so does the fox Honestly, that's chasing I even... that, that piece of meat in the top of the cage, you know what I mean? It's <laughs> It's the after part that we may not agree with. Yeah, but no, I, no, I was saying I don't even know if they put that much effort into it. It's almost like you said, shopping, because they just get to pick and choose and pick which one they want. Yeah, but no, they, nah, that's so not willing. no, no, no. Women, guys are so women, willing. women, women anguish over this the same way men do. OK, yeah. it's just that certain of them got game, just like certain of us got game. Mm -hmm. Certain of them got game. There are some would, men that, you know, what? Some I would even that, push back on that. They don't have no game. Uh, they, now that's too much. That's too they much. They have no game. That's I'm going to tell you much. why they don't have no game. That's too much. You can't. You can't say that about all women. That that none of them got game. Some of them got game. Done. Even the ones that got game, it's 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 rudimentary at best. And I'll tell you why it's rudimentary at best. Go for if it. you're if you're playing wiffle ball, right? With four year olds, you know, <laughs> and you you knocking the ball out the you're stupid. The, <laughs> you're, stupid. <laughs> you, you're not an extraordinary you can't, you can't you're run like, around. Wait a minute, you're like you're not Aaron Judge. Yeah, because, right, right. because you you beat some T ball players exactly. at their game. Right. You're you not can't. that don't make you Aaron Judge. Okay. You got a bunch can't of guys who are get who up are, there and point to the fences. The, yeah, yeah, you you call your you shot the, in the outfield like <laughs> Watch me kill this people. I'm gonna kill it. Oh, Talking okay. shit to the four years. Watch so this. You understand shit. what I'm saying? They're already, well, yeah. already but, see, but, in listen, their favor. but that's because that's because that goes back to the first thing that you said about us being the pursuers. We are yes. normally in pursuit, and that's why you can't really blame them for the fact that they don't have well, to. Not, you know that they don't that they don't have I'm to not, develop in that sense. You know what I in mean? In no sense am I blaming them. I'm just stating the fact that I listen. Think, we, we, I'm not going to push back right. on what you just said. And I don't, I don't, I don't make. Here's another thing. It's me or you know, I'm my, my uh, other people. They're familiar with their lizard. I I sit him on my lap, like I cultivate him. Come along, chub chub. Like I <laughs> like that. Like Maybe the old chub powers cat, you know. Yeah. Like I love big your chub chub. <laughs> He's really close. Him and I are really close. Yeah. Um, and uh, so what I mean by that is just it's just it's set up. This I, 
and I'm not, I'm not arguing. I mean, I'm like, don't hate the, don't hate the game, don't hate the player, hate the game, but, but don't even hate the game because the game is what the what game is anyway. I say the so, game is the game. I'm not hating anybody. You know what I mean? It's what are we, you know, you know what are we ultimately talking about? So I, I think that is a, I think that's really the point. So they don't, they don't have, and if you got, if you have a chicken, she has rudimentary game. She's she's taking dues for money. It's, it's because it's already now, that, now. See that I'm gonna agree with because there is see there is there tends to be this um this kind of um mentality that uh women that understand men will use that power to basically do one thing and that's take money from them. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's resources. It's it's reproductive. Let's be honest. It's reproductive. Um. Uh, ability against resources, money and resources. I mean, that 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 is the dynamic of of how it exists. But let, rewind. Go ahead. Lay in the five bricks. Lay in the five bricks. Oh, okay, I, I'm sorry. I took us but off. We, on a we, different we can cover that. We got time. We can cover it. So my so the reason why you don't you don't go for the number is because one thing that women have ex amazing intuitive experience with, which I think is absolutely genetic, is that a woman, every time a woman goes out with a dude, she has to qualify that he, he will not kill her first, that he will not rape her and kill her. Like that is on the table every time she talks to a guy. It may not be right in the front. Are, are you not aware of this, Chuck? I... I mean, listen. I'm. I don't. I don't. I. I don't. I don't think in those terms because. I mean, are you? But you wouldn't think in those terms. Because that's my exactly, point. Exactly. That's my point. I mean, like. My I, point is that why would you think in those terms when that's not your intention? But that. Well, that's no. Not, I mean, yeah. I'm. I'm. I get what you're saying. Is that I'm, you know that there. The amount of violence done to women is pretty significant it's very Absolutely. significant no the argument. amount of violence yeah. done to women is significant and um, i mean on a on a wide scale from out and out murder to rape to right to microaggressions just, and right to just you, even it, yep fuck you bitch like uh you know that I, I saw it just the other day so, no okay so i won't say what i saw the other day but yes yeah, yeah. I, I see what you're saying like you, that that is and you know, a, and you know, that is I'm a consideration speaking, I speak in plain because because I want people to understand it in a real way. And I'm not going I'm not I would rather a guy understand that that is. So when you're talking to a woman and you have, for instance, I'll give me a clear example. You're talking to a woman and you have not you're a guy who um, who move, is very erratic in their movement. Like, you know, a guy that's nervous energy and that stuff. little tick, you got a little. Yeah. But I mean, nervous You're energy. On meth. Let's just say, let's call it what it is. You're on meth. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I wish it was that easy. But the reality is, you get guys who just right. because of, because here's the thing: nervous there's a, energy. There's a congruence between confidence, true confidence, understanding body language, vocal tones, tonality. There's a congruency in that, and I don't think that people understand that on a high level that all of those things are consistent. Right. And right. and so if a guy has nervous energy, might be the nicest guy in the world, but a, a woman will go, why, why is he moving around? Because it, it's his his body language not being um, settled is a congruency that she could interpret it as being deceptive. And if he's being deceptive, deceptive is not safe. And safe is dangerous. Uh, unsafe is dangerous. And I'm not saying she makes this cognitive understanding no. <laughs> of what it is, but it happens. It happens that quick. I understand what you're saying. Is that uh, there are a lot of subconscious tells that a man might put out there that a woman subconsciously is picking up on on her her under radar, you know what I right. mean? Her her sonar. It's right. one thing to be on the radar. It's another thing to be on the sonar. On the sonar as a whole thing. And, 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 I, and it's like, it's also the Judge Judy effect. What I call the Judge Judy effect is is the fact that you go and Judge Judy, she gets you caught, you get caught up in a, in a little lie in the beginning of the court case. The, you lost the case. Right. Be because you have no credibility. So up front, if you're in a relationship and your, your body language is questionable. You are out the game because she's her not 
making that decision, her making a mistake about whether you are dangerous or not dangerous is 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 life ending. Well, you know, it's funny that you say that because one of the most successful serial killers of all time was a very good looking man by the name of Ted Bundy. Yes. And he was never nervous. He was extremely confident. And um, as a result, he engendered trust in women in he such a way. Right under the radar. Failed right under the radar with no problem. Exactly. You know, right up until. Uh, why don't, why don't we take a ride in my van? And they were yeah. like, oh, you have a van? How about this? <laughs> mm-hmm. When you talk to women about Ted Bundy, even today, I've heard women talk about, oh, he's so smooth. He's just, he's handsome. They talk While about watching the documentary. T- <laughs> yes, yes. Like, I know how this I've ends. I've heard that. I have heard, because it, 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 it goes underneath the radar, like you saw the sonar on a level that they don't, it's undetectable. So you have a guys who are presenting themselves as um as uh, how should I just unsafe or or undecided and that, undecisive, that, yeah, indecisive. undecisive, indecisive, just, yes, indecisive, and, and yeah. indecisive even better. So my point is. So what ha- with the first thing you have to learn, so there's a skill set. We A lot of times we learn the skill set. If you, you get good at talking to women, it's through practice, but it's a trial and error. But what, what they don't, but a lot of people don't really understand the principle. What's interesting is that you're great at it. You're welcoming, you're smooth. I've seen you work. I mean, even when your intention is not just you know, when it's a, when it's producers, I've seen you work and the the way that you co- make them feel safe and comfortable and so. But not doing that is works the other way. It's to their it's to your detriment. Well, and if I, you don't I, understand, I hear you. I hear you. If you don't understand that that's communicating that, then you wonder why you don't you know why you forty years old and you ain't and you ain't been laid because it's you've just never learned these techniques. So. The first thing that you learn is, is well, the first phase of what I teach guys is not to ask for the number, to just have the conversation for the sake of the conversation, because when women are amazingly intuitive, it's funny because, I, I, you know, yeah, I shit on women's inability to have game, but I also, their instinct to understand when a social situation is transactional, they uh-huh. understand that better than anybody else. And if it is transactional, they know it now. If but let me a- let me just say this. Let me just a uh, quick a quick aside here. If Chuck Nice is talking to you, I want some pussy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> just, just assume. Let, just, just assume. Letting you know. <laughs> How about this? If I'm talking to you, I might not want no pussy. I haven't even decided whether you're worthy of and, it. And at this, what I was about to say is the yeah. truth is. I don't. Here's what most guys don't get right. Okay, um, wait on wanting anything. Just wait on that. Because whatever mm-hmm. it is, now listen. Don't get me wrong. We all know that there are some women that are extremely attractive. You look at them, and of course, there's going to be a bi- what I call the biological reaction of a man. Oh, sure. There's a biological reaction that we have, and that sure. is, man, wouldn't it be nice? It'd be nice. Okay. But if you let that become your driving factor, you are you are in some serious trouble because sure, sure. first of all, it may not even be worth the issue. It may not even be worth. And the usually, it's not. Exactly. It so, usually. so what what you should do is, and I, I've said this, like you know, what you should do is always approach it from what I want for me, <laughs> not what I want from you. But what I want from me. Put okay. yourself first if you don't, nobody else will. Oh wow. Okay. Is that is that the rule? Is that your I mean, yeah, that's I mean what you so what's interesting is that you you are in line we're at, like I, I always say oh, we're saying that, the same thing all the yeah, time. We're always in line, but I but I've crystallized it in a way because I gotta teach it. You know, right. I, yeah, me, I, I'm I just you know, listen. It's just I, the way it just, just the way it is, the way, way I am. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no. I, I, you know, never. It's never about you know. It's always what you want for yourself, not what you want from somebody. Always think of, and but the way you said it, put yourself first. There you go. Right. I, I. There's another another relationship guru. He be like, a lot of them bitches. Tell them what you want. You trying to get some, and I'm like, Doug, you don't even get. You don't even get that. Yes, that. That is the that you like I, you know I I use this term all the time I'm, you're shoplifting the pussy you know 
you 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 were in the Bentley oh, yeah. store, you're in the Bentley store stop shopping and you ain't got but five racks. Like you know you ain't you know you don't deserve to be in here. No, you can't have a test drive. No, you ain't <laughs> never gonna have to like stop it. But you but not only but not only that, but you you know you're not supposed to be in there. So you're willing to do whatever you gotta do instead of being worthy enough b- walking in there with 200, 300 in a duffel bag and be like, yo, wow, we're done already. Okay. This is so I mean, here's a here's a uh and it, so let me get back. Not I keep getting off this. It not being transactional is important because you as a man, you don't have you very rarely have the ability to fool the genetic entity that's in her to understand how she has to navigate, not being murdered or raped or <laughs> like this is this is genetically involved this is 200,000 years of women yeah. learning how to navigate around situations that could potentially be dangerous so but if you so if you might be nice enough i mean there's always dudes that are nice enough to fool you but they're going to fool you some of the times but not all of the time whereas if you just learn to speak without it being transactional right, right? There's nothing, there's nothing she can, there's no tell. There's no poker tell because there, there is, there's nothing to tell. Do you know what I'm saying? You're not even playing cards. You're, you're, you're sincerely and generally in this conversation, having this conversation with not the intention. I'm not saying you can't make a decision later, but I, well, in the first phase, I do. I remove the fact you are not supposed to get a number. And the reason why you're not supposed to get a number is because there's no a, a young dude who's trying to learn his techniques can't he can't have the ob, even in the back of his mind the objective to get the number makes this in this social engagement it makes the social engagement um it creates a lot uh, more stakes I, and a lot more fear it makes it a right. lot more the yeah stakes, perfect Harry. the the stakes you I'm raise here. the stakes and so because you raise the stakes, now now you bring nervousness and anxiety in the situation. And anxiety and nervousness can be read as indecisiveness, conniving, this, that, and the other, which makes you dangerous. Whereas when there's a pureness in terms of the conversation that you're having, she can see that pure. That's why that chick jumped off the train and followed you. Because not only did you not did you were your, was your intention not that, not were you using it as a technique, but you still didn't get the number when she got off. Because I really wasn't even aware that that's what she was doing. But when it became aware to me, I was like, oh, my God, I was I was flattered. I got to be honest. I was really right. flattered. But but, I, but, 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 but that wasn't what I was about, even though. And by the way, she was an attractive woman and she was right. very fun to talk to. But I just wasn't about that. And so, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, uh, it's but I yeah, I, I love the idea of the whole transactional, like, you know, learning how to deny transaction ability so that you can you know get to what it's really about and because when you once you've done that for like five a day i do five a day every day for eight weeks that's the the, so that ends up being in in one day becomes 35 in one week is 35 women in eight weeks is eight times 35 is eight times three is 20, like something like 260 women in the course of eight weeks. I know pimps that don't talk to 260 women in eight <laughs> weeks. Do you know what I mean? And, and uh, these are trained professionals. So, um, but they trained, they went to pimp school. <laughs> uh, I mean, they went to, they got some schooling. What, what the pimp I don't you? I didn't think it was an accredited you. university. <laughs> Go to pimp, pimp you, pimp you, and, and and the U is spelled Y O U. Yeah, pimp. <laughs> well, 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 you, well like, you. I went to pimp you. I went no, to it's pimp just a, you, baby. No, it's a finger. It's just a finger to go. Pimp you, baby. <laughs> like Uncle Sam wants you. Only got a purple hat on. Exactly. Um, uh, and, but you know, and, and a walk and a walking stick. <laughs> is, I've also I've also had this uh, this argument. I had this argument with dumb Keith about how I said to him that that uh, that women turn pimps out. Pimps, the initial pimp is turned out by the hoe, not by the the pimp. Like nobody wakes up and goes, "I want to be a pimp." They 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 may, but those are the guys who are not the pimps. The pimps are the guys that the women go. 
yo, I would I would sell my pussy for you. And you, but you just have that, you have that magnetism that makes it go. I would, I would, I would do that for you. And then you really, and I'm, you still, like, I'm still working on that magnetism. Oh, oh you, got it. <laughs> you, got it. you got it. You just, you just don't use your, your, your powers for evil. That's all. But you, yeah. you definitely, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. You'd be surprised what you, oh my God. So you're so lucky that you didn't hang out with me. Uh, in my in my youthful days, <laughs> I I believe me, I am because I listen. We would have been damaging. Oh, it's it ugly. Been, I mean, it would have been, been damaging. That 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 you know. Uh, listen, I I have I I feel sorry for these young dudes out here now sometimes because they seem to uh, you know I whew, you know I've had conversations with young dudes and you know um, they talk about how. You know things have changed, and I and I say no, it hasn't. I say you can't tell me that we're a species that's been for the last, you know, two hundred and fifty, two hundred and fifty thousand years, three hundred thousand years, thousand years. We've been this doing this between female and male. We've been doing this for the last almost three hundred thousand years. Yeah. And you're going to tell me that just because of social media and Harvey Weinstein, that all that shit is out the window. Yeah. I no. don't believe you. I can't. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're wrong. And when I have girls after a show down in the village who are, and I'm an old man as far as I'm concerned, and they're yeah. looking at me like, what are you doing? Like, what are you up to? What, yeah, what's I'm, up? Yeah, what's like, what's up? What's and, and then they say, None of these dudes will talk to you down here. Yeah, right, right. And that's their that's where they're coming from. They're well, I, ag- I would, they're I would argue- because they're like, none of these dudes will talk to you. I would I, I would argue that it's better now than ever because dudes is cornballs and punks and 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 simps and and as much as they don't mind taking the simps money. You not, you not, I mean, you might get a pity fuck. You might, if that's, if it, it but you're not going to get the box where you, with some dude who she doesn't think that's better than her. A woman never dates a dude that's better than her. Now, let me be clear. I'd say to some people get all crazy, especially women. Better is a relative term. She decides what is better. Do you know what I mean? She she decides. So it, when you see a chick and she's with some gangster, it's it. I mean, socially, we might not see him like she's a college student and he's a gangster. But to her, she sees the 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 excitement of his life and what he does and that he don't give a fuck. And in her mind, that's better for her, even though it may not be societally better. Let's let's plug this. Put it and then go to the Patreon real quick. What you got? I know you got your um thing um, going on. Hey, listen, uh, se- uh, November seventeenth to eighteenth, I'm taping at the Midnight Theater in Hudson Yards. Uh, my my comedy special called Chuck Nice Just Smart Enough. So everybody, go to chucknicecomic.com and 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 get some tickets so so I can have. Talking about funny, funny dude. Uh, you yeah. will not be disappointed. One one of the New York killers the assassins in the game so check that out harry talk uh you can go to all my social media at harry turjanian and also uh you know check out all my stuff on tiktok youtube and also i do relationship consultations if you need a relationship consultation email me at advice from harry at gmail.com otherwise if you love the show come and support us over at patreon.com slash manschool202 that's where we're doing all the bonus content uh, like the bonus content we're about to do now with uh, Chuck Nice, and we're uploading all the old episodes of Man School 202 back when we were the Beige Phillips show. All of that is on patreon.com slash manschool202. Um, y'all know how to get me, DanteNever.com. Click on consult. You can rap with me directly. Um, also, uh, all my social media and everything will be down in the comments. Check that out. Uh, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolutions being podcasted. I love y'all, man. Thanks for supporting us. Um, see you on the, on, the, on the Patreon side. Peace. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.